Now, the question is, how did we get here? You got a new book explaining why energy policy should be the top priority of voters in 2024. I agree with you because without energy, you know, if America has no energy, uh, then we're helpless. What say you? Yeah, you're absolutely right. We're here because we have a president who wanted to surrender reality to ideology, and we're all seeing the results. You know, I was taking a look at everything that Joe Biden has done against American energy, and it started to say, oh, well, there's some big ones, Keystone Pipeline, taking off federal lands for production. But then I really started looking into it, and I thought, golly, he's done so many. It's like an avalanche of incompetence that Joe Biden has brought to the United States, and we found that energy is so foundational to our way of life. Life, that even though we have pain at the pump, we also have pain at the grocery store. We have massive inflation, and it's all because of energy. And sadly, Joe Biden doesn't look like he's seeing the warning signs to stop. Yeah, energy is one of the big drivers of inflation, obviously. Now, um, the price of gas and oil, it has moderated in recent weeks and months, and it's been fairly steady. It's still a lot more expensive than it was to buy a gallon of gas when he took office, when it was two and a quarter where I live, and now it's about... Oh, 350 ish. So still a lot more expensive. And that's something that is directly impactful on people that are going to work every day. And it hurts people at the lower income levels more than people at the top because people at the top, they don't care what it costs to fill their tank of gas. Ask John Kerry. He can fill up that jet and fly all over the world. No problem. Uh, but for real people, it really hurts, doesn't it? It absolutely does. I mean, if we've learned every, anything of the last two years, it's that Joe Biden, when he goes after energy, he's really going after working Americans. You know, it, the answer from the Biden administration will be just buy an EV. Well, that's $66,000 that a lot of families don't have, especially right now. And sometimes they have to take out a second mortgage just to go to the grocery store. The average EV owner is making over $150,000 a year. And our Joe Biden's economy under his Biden economics, most Americans aren't making that much money because we're paying more for the things that we used to just pay less for. And, and the contrast couldn't be any more clear because it was just three or four years ago. Americans remember that we were paying a whole lot less and getting a whole lot more. And it all has to do with the fact that Joe Biden feels that he can erode America's energy foundation and decide that he's going to try to replace it with this unreliable, extremely expensive and Chinese made forms of energy all across the United States. It's not working. Americans aren't adopting it, but we're still getting all the high prices.